I'm preparing for a maiden on my Avanti S, and one of the things I noticed in the instructions is that the nose will tend to balloon up when you deploy the flaps. We all know that. That's common sense. And they suggested a mix for your elevator when you deploy flaps. So I decided to try it out because the last time I flew a jet, I deployed flaps, and it did actually balloon up quite a bit. So I decided I'm going to go ahead and give it a try for a mix to put a little down elevator in when I deploy the flaps. Here's what it looks like on the radio. I've got a monitor set up on the second screen. My elevator is on channel two. So as I push my stick forward for down elevator, you can see my travel, the correct direction of travel is to the right. And then on channel 15, I've got my flap set up. So that is my mid flap position and my down flap position is here. So that's fully deployed down. And notice I have a little bit of down elevator. I also want you to pay attention to the fact that I have it set up for slow movements. So my flaps come down slow and the elevator mix comes in slow and they're actually synchronized to each other. So I'll back out of the full down deployment and go back to mid. You can see the elevator goes back to zero and I'm gonna pull the, the flap switch down again and we'll watch it come down to full deployment. But watch the timing of the elevator and the timing of the flaps. They should be in sync. So there we go. And notice it's also a very small amount of elevator. You don't want a whole lot here. You don't want it to pitch down when you deploy flaps. You just want to limit that balloon effect. So that's how it works on the plane. Let me show you the setup. With all of your other control surfaces set up correctly for your plane, including your elevator and your flaps, so I have flaps down here on channel 15. Once everything is set up correctly and working correctly, that's when you do the mix. When it comes to creating the mix, I always say that we have to determine what needs fixing. In this case, it's the elevator, because it's the elevator that needs to be pitched down, and we apply the thing that does the fixing, which is actually the flap switch. So let's take a look at the flaps mix. It's right here under elevator, and the way I added it is real simple. If you don't know how to add the second line, I'll just show you real quick how to add a second line. I'm gonna click on the elevator section, and I'm gonna hit insert after. And when I do that, and then back back out, you can see that I've added a line after this elevator line, okay? All right, let's take a look at the mix. I already have my mix added and it's right here. I have a value of negative 5%. The switch is the right slider, which is my flap switch. I named the mix flaps and I used a curve, X is less than zero. If we look at this in the editor, here's what it looks like. Right slider for the switch, a weight of negative five. And the trickery comes with this curve called function X is less than zero. And remember this applies to what's happening on the slider, not on the elevator, just keep that in mind. So I use negative five, and as you can see on the outputs, when I have my slider in the down position, I have a down elevator applied. And I'll put the slider in the up position. You can see that goes back to zero. Now, if it's not working the right direction for you, you can change either the weight or the function. So in my case, if I wanted the elevator to go the wrong way, I'd simply change the weight to a positive value. And then when I bring the flaps down, the elevator will go the other direction. See that? And if I wanted to provide a value for movement in the other direction, I could change the X is less than zero to X is greater than zero. And what, that, what that'll do is it'll apply when I move my slider to the up position, and we should also see a movement to the left-hand side. You just have to kind of tinker with it to get it moving in the right direction you want. These are the two things that made that happen. So in my case, I need a weight of negative five and I need a function X is less than zero. Remember the X is less than zero applies to where your slider is, not the elevator. That's the basic function for the one-way mix. Now let me show you how I slowed things down. If you hit the gear icon, you can come into this area down on the bottom and you apply a slow up and a slow down. I used a value of two seconds and that also corresponds with the flap deployment. So if I go down to my flaps section and open this one up, and look at the gear icon, I also have a slow up and slow down. That's how I got it to stay in sync with the flap deployment. So when I move my flap slider either up or down, it takes two seconds to run through the weight that's defined. And I guess while we're in here, because you might ask anyway, the way I constrain the movement on the flaps is via a curve. So if I put the flaps in the mid position, they stop here. If I put them in the full deployed position, they stop here. And I did that simply by creating a curve. And my curve looks just like this. Now you know how I constrain my flap movement for a mid flap deployment and a full flap deployment. And you've seen how in a mixer, we can create a down elevator corresponding mix to go with it so that when we deploy our flaps full down, we get just a little bit of nose down out of the elevator. Hope you liked the video. If you did, a thumbs up would be awesome. Subscribe and hit the bell so you know when new videos hit the channel. YouTube should recommend another one for you right about now. That's all I've got for today. Take it easy and get out there and fly something.